Only on News 5, it is a park like no other in Baldwin County, but unless enough funds are raised, its future is in doubt. COVID-19 halted all grants the Miracle League of Coastal Alabama had hoped to receive last year in order to complete a special needs park in Somerdale. WKRG.com mobile journalist Blake Brown has a look at what happens now. It may look like a completed playground, but you'll notice the red clay surrounding it and the empty land that should be filled with a ballpark and other amenities. This is a picnic area. On the other side of there will be a special needs swing for wheelchairs. COVID-19 hitting the Miracle League of Coastal Alabama hard last year, but they're ready for a big comeback. It's not easy, though. The installation of a playground surface here will cost $30,000 in itself. We're trying to get reestablished and do it again, you know, get going again, get the surface down and then move on to the uh, our community build on a big pavilion here that will have about 20 picnic tables. They have the vision and you can see the project is already started behind me, but now they're at a standstill. This nonprofit organization asking for your help to get things moving here again. We still got about $1.8 million to go in completion of this project, so we've got to build an entire infrastructure. It's going to be amazing for so many people, me being a special needs mom, I think it's absolutely great and it's something that we're really looking forward to. For Haley Stewart and her children, this will be a place to unwind that can't be found anywhere else in Baldwin County. He has friends and cousins that play ball and things and that he really wants to be involved with, so when he will get the opportunity to, get, to do that once this is completed. The Miracle League of Coastal Alabama hoping to complete phase one of this special needs park this year. In Somerdale, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5. And Blake is part of our mobile journalist team. You will see his stories first online at WKRG.com. You can follow Blake on Facebook and Twitter.